Ask anybody who knows me, and they'll tell you I love boating. In fact, I'm addicted to getting out on the water. But I will never leave shore without certain items. You know why? Because boating safety is no joke, and I'm going to tell you what you need to know. The Coast Guard tracks boating accidents in the U.S., and every year there are between 600 and 700 fatalities. That's more than airplane crashes, train wrecks, or even bus accidents. There are five major factors in all boating fatalities. The operator isn't paying attention. There's no lookout. The operator just doesn't know what he's doing. Machinery failure, and let's not forget, excessive speed. And even the most responsible boaters can get into trouble. The ocean, particularly out here, can be very, very dynamic. It often is very, very calm and beautiful and pleasant. Uh, but it doesn't take a whole lot for the weather to change. But if you're not prepared for that, then people can find themselves in trouble. The majority of deaths are due to drowning. And the number one reason behind that, no life jackets. A personal flotation device, or PFD, is really a non-negotiable. In fact, it's mandated by the Coast Guard. Think about it. Say you're thrown from a boat, or you're injured, or unconscious. Or what if you can't swim, or your clothes become waterlogged? In that situation, if you're not wearing a PFD, your chances for survival are nearly impossible. And if you do have life jackets, what's crucial is making sure that it fits properly. Children's life jackets fit specific weight categories, so read that label carefully. At least one community in Florida is doing something about the problem. In Pinellas County, which has the largest number of recreational boats in the state of Florida, the sheriff has started a life jacket loaner program for kids up to 90 pounds. It's a very good idea. But sadly, Florida is the exception to the rule. Very few states have those loaner programs. Other crucial items you'll need? A flare gun to get attention at night. The Coast Guard actually requires that boaters have at least three flare signals for day and three for night. A sound producing device is another necessary tool. And fire at sea? A huge concern. So a fire extinguisher, or perhaps two, is a must. You'll need communication devices, but your cell phone won't cut it. It may work a certain distance from the shore, but all boats should have a VHF FM marine radio to reach the Coast Guard or other emergency operator. And here's a major problem that many people don't like to talk about, but I will. BUI. That's right, boating under the influence. In fact, alcohol use was directly or indirectly related to about 17% of all boating fatalities. Operating a small boat requires like all of your senses and all of your mental acuity. And the use of alcohol dumbs that down a little bit. The effects of seasickness, the effects of dehydration, the effects of sun exposure can exacerbate the effects of alcohol. Now all of these rules are second nature to those of us who grew up on the water. But you'd be shocked to learn there's actually no federal mandated safety or certification course for new boaters. And the laws vary by state. Some have no educational requirements at all. The courses that are available are mostly online. What you really need is hands-on experience. So look for classroom courses, not just online, through the United States Power Squadron or the U.S. Coast Guard Auxiliary. 